Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shawnee Faye, mom of two, faith-filled entrepreneur, purpose-driven to help you craft a beautiful life. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made these delicious gourmet treats for your friends, family, loved ones, whoever you choose on a super small budget and they're super easy to make. Let's get started. Always find a small excuse to leave. So the first treats we have are these chocolate covered peanut butter treats. This is my personal take on a Reese's Pieces buttercup. I love Reese's Pieces and this filling tastes exactly like the real deal. Um, so we're going to start off by filling these um, microwave safe glasses. I actually bought these at the dollar store. We're going to fill them with some of these candy melts that I purchased at Michael's. I will leave a description for that in the description box below. We're going to heat this in the microwave in 30 second intervals. This is me showing you here um, what it looks like after the first 30 seconds. You can see that it's a little bit melted on the outside, but the chocolate is not quite melted um, all the way through. So you're just going to mix it in between and then you're going to put it in for another 30 seconds. And this is what you should come up with. This, these candy melts were really, really nice to work with. This was the dark chocolate. It was really, really, really nice to work with. I preferred it to the colored ones. Honestly, um, I got the same brand, but in pink and in red, but this dark chocolate was by far my favorite to work with. So you're just gonna go ahead and start filling up the molds. I will also link this mold. Um, I bought this at, um, if I'm not mistaken, I got it at Amazon. So I will link that in the description box below as well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill them, fill them up. Now this did get a little bit messy. Now the trick is that you want to make sure that you get a nice thin coating because you want to get as much of the peanut butter filling as possible. So I'm just going to start in the middle with my spatula and I'm pushing that um, chocolate towards the outside so that I can get it up the edges of the um, of the mold and then you'll see where I go ahead and flip the mold over so that I can get all the excess chocolate out now don't worry we're not wasting any chocolate nothing goes to waste here I hate wasting things so nothing goes to waste I do um, you know use the rest of the chocolate you just put it back into the jar if it starts to get stiff then you can just reheat it it is still you know it is still usable so that's all i'm doing here is you just see me putting the spatula right into the middle and kind of pushing the um the chocolate towards the edges of the um of the mold so this is where i go ahead and i flip it over and then I let all the excess drain out. This is to ensure that we get a really nice thin coating all the way around um, instead of having like all the chocolate sit and rest at the bottom of the mold, which would end up being the top of, um, of our mold. And then we just have too much, our chocolate to peanut butter ratio would just be off. So this is the best way to do that. It's a little bit messy, but that's what the parchment paper is for. So clean up as much as you can as you go along. Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Oh, it feels a one Now for the filling, I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter to the peanut butter. I will leave all the measurements in the description box below. So this butter is softened and I go ahead and add that to the peanut butter and I make sure that I mix those two together, make sure that they're all um, completely incorporated before I add it to the powdered sugar. Once the butter and the peanut butter are properly mixed, then I go ahead and add that to the powdered sugar, and then I go ahead and mix all of that together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a piping bag. I picked up these piping bags at the Dollar Tree. 
they worked out pretty well they're not the best quality but for a dollar honestly i was i was surprised at at how good they were um now one thing that i learned in hindsight is that this peanut butter mixture while it tastes exactly like um what you would find in a reese's it was actually pretty um pretty solid and it was kind of hard to to pipe into the mold so what i would recommend is softening it up a little bit don't change the ratios um, in the mixture just soften it up by putting it in the microwave for just a little bit so that it's easier to pipe into the molds once your molds are all set take them out of the fridge um, just keep in mind that they will be cold once you take them out so you're going to have to work quickly with the chocolate because it will want to seize up because the mold itself is cold so just you know kind of work quickly so what i'm doing here is after i've placed the um peanut butter into the mold now i'm just going to cover up the backs of it with the chocolate to just give it that final um that final backing So once they're all set, then you're just going to go ahead and pop it out of the mold. And it should be really easy to do. These molds were really easy to work with. I really enjoyed them. Now to finish these off, we're going to use a little bit of the white chocolate. And we're just going to drizzle that over one section of it. I wanted to keep it kind of simple. And I like the contrast of the white chocolate to... Um, to dark chocolate and then i just added some of these little hearts i also purchased those on um on amazon but they do sell those at michael's and like joanne fabrics and stuff like that they are a wilton brand so i will um like everything else i'll leave that in the description box below i wanted to keep these kind of simple so um because the flavor just really speaks for itself they're so so good so i just added those and then that was it so on to our next project. So now we're gonna be doing chocolate dipped almond net cookies. Now this is so easy to do. Dollar Tree sells these almond net cookies and they come up, well, I think it's 12 in a pack. So I picked up um, two, I picked up the red and the pink um, candy melts from, from Michaels and then you only dip half the cookie in now they already come with like a light kind of coating and they're already a really delicious cookie so you don't want to overdo it we're just dressing them up a little bit like think of it like we're just kind of putting a little outfit on them so you're only going to dip half of it in the um, candy melt and I did um, I split the pack evenly so you can see like I'm counting there to see how much there are so I make sure I do it equally so I did, I believe it was six in the red and then six in the pink. So once you're all done with these you're just going to put them to the side so that they can so they can dry these do not have to be refrigerated they can sit out on the counter um, and just let the chocolate harden back up in order to decorate these i really wanted to do something a little special so i decided that i wanted uh, to create my own um sprinkle mix so i took some of these x and o sprinkles that i picked up at walmart they were a dollar and i believe 98 cents so i put those in a little ziploc bag with um just a little touch of gold powder and mix them up and this is what i came out with i love it. it was it's so easy i didn't have to add any liquid or anything like that so i used some of these um jimmy sprinkles from dollar tree they have them in all different colors i used the red and i used some of the pink i also used some of these little mini hearts um that i got from i believe those were from walmart too yep those are from walmart those were a dollar and 98 cents and then i added my um my little gold um my gold uh sprinkles to that mix and then i just added a little bit of the silver you know and just 
you can get f fun and creative with it you can just add whatever you have i always have a ton of sprinkles on hand so um i just used what i had and you can feel free to do the same it's really nice that dollar tree actually has sprinkles now so you can do this on a budget um walmart also has a pretty good arrangement like i got these little pearls these sugar pearls from walmart and those were 98 cents and then um these little diamond sprinkles i actually got those for a dollar i was so surprised um they're really pretty i got those from for from michael's for a dollar um i believe it was during christmas time so if you know if they ever have sale then you can scoop those up so i just mixed everything together and then added those to my cookies so i did a light drizzle across the cookie with the white chocolate and then i just added my sprinkles <music> okay so now on to the hot cocoa bombs now this was honestly my first time making hot cocoa bombs and i have seen so many videos on how to do it and i figured well i will try my hand at it my first time not so great but um not so bad <laughs> i guess i guess they I, there was a little bit of success there because i did manage to out of the six that i planned to have i managed to walk away with five decent ones so there was a bit of success there my very first one it crumbled horribly so things that i learned um for one do not overfill overfill them um two it's nice to have the colored ones but honestly that dark chocolate was the best to work with because it is it's very smooth it's easier to move around um three i would probably cut these molds up like instead of having it be um one full mold like this i would probably cut out all six of the um of the hearts and then that might be easier to manage uh, but i but everything is 2020 in hindsight so uh, for this first one here well actually the first one was a disaster but for the second one i seem to figure it out a little bit better so i just don't 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 overfill it like um for this one i wanted to do for the pink i wanted to do like a strawberry hot cocoa bomb so i had the strawberry nest quick which is what you see me putting in here and really the recipe calls for you to put like two tablespoons but two tablespoons will not fit in these small molds maybe with the round molds you could fit that much in there but these are a lot smaller these hearts are much smaller so just fit as much as you can remember that the mold itself is chocolate so even if you can't you know fit as much of the filling like you're still gonna have flavor because you're still gonna have a ton of chocolate from the mold itself i added a little bit of sprinkles i added as much marshmallows as it would allow and this is just a hot plate that i'm using here to kind of um, clean up the edges for one and to um, melt some of the chocolate so that these things will stick together so i found that that worked really well So all I'm doing is I'm just taking a bit of the chocolate from the sides, from, from the plate there so that I can go ahead and clean up the sides. Now this just helps to smooth the seams so that it looks like it's one big heart instead of two pieces that were put together. That did help to clean up those edges and then it helps to make sure that it has a nice seal on it. So for the chocolate ones, um, all I did for the inside of those was put some French vanilla um, coffee creamer and then um, because the mold itself is already chocolate and then for the pink ones, as I said before, it has the um, strawberry Nesquik mix in it. They all have marshmallows and sprinkles in them. The red ones are kind of like my red velvet one. Um, so they're red on the outside, obviously. And then they have like a hot cocoa on the, in the middle. Because as you know, a red velvet cake is basically 
a somewhat of a chocolate cake please don't come for me in the description box if you are a real red velvet cake connoisseur it is basically a chocolate cake that is dyed red so um that is why i am claiming this as a red um velvet hot cocoa bomb so i just go ahead and i drizzle those with some of the um chocolate and white chocolate drizzle and um then i go ahead and use i love like these little heart sprinkles that i got from walmart i'm like obsessed with them because to me they're like the perfect size <laughs> so i basically put them on everything and i love the drizzle because it just it's classy and it's really simple and it's it's really elegant and pretty so um i do love like the chocolate on chocolate look and so i love how they turned out they look they look really cute they gave me a hell of a time but we worked it out so now we're doing the chocolate covered pretzels this is also my first time doing this and so i had seen these before and i always wondered how do they do that how do they do that and so i decided i'm gonna try my hand at it so i picked up these pretzels from the dollar tree and i got some of these um caramels from walmart and i said uh-huh we're gonna do it so i wanted to have short ones i didn't want to have long pretzels i wanted to have short ones so all i did was cut these in half and so I ended up getting about 12 out of this. You can make so many because I mean, obviously there's so many in the pack. So I just used a serrated knife to try to get a clean edge on these. It left a little bit of dust. So you have to, you know, clean that up, all the little crumbs and stuff like that. But, um, but they were so cute. They were like the perfect size to eat. And so, um, I took some of these caramels these are the ones that are like individually wrapped little squares and i think it's like two dollars and 98 cents for the pack so it wasn't very expensive it actually everything that i bought cost me like 17 dollars, so that wasn't bad and you can make a ton of stuff with this so um i had to heat them up just a little bit just soften them up a little i think i put them in for like 15 seconds do not overdo it um and then still give them an opportunity to kind of cool down because you don't want to burn your hands which is why i'm using the gloves now all the things i made here are just for me but if you're going to make them for other people then i would recommend using gloves everything i made here is just for me and my and my kids so um so you can go ahead roll it out into like a long um a long tube like i did here however that however it's best for you to do that if it's best for you to roll it out on the table or roll it out between your hands but just try to get it to a nice little um a thin little link or whatever you want to call it and then you go ahead and you wrap that around the pretzel now i did i tried to make sure that i was doing the same amount on all the pretzels so i did about five down because that just it looked good to me it looked like he was a good um caramel to pretzel <laughs> ratio so um once you get to the bottom you just kind of tear it off and you see there like they're all about the same so when you're dipping it in the chocolate you just kind of want to turn it in the chocolate kind of in the same way the same direction that your um that your caramel is twisted in that way you can get right into the grooves because you want to see that pattern you don't want to lose that pattern i tried it with the pink again that pink was just the pink um um what is it called the pink candy melts were just not they were just not it they were not it at all this chocolate was everything i just loved it it was so smooth and so easy to work with so as you can see there you can see the nice little pattern and that's what you want you want to be able to see that so again i'm going with the chocolate over the chocolate look and <laughs> again these beautiful little hearts i love these little hearts they're so stinking cute so i just drizzle just a little bit i want to um don't want to overdo it you know so i just drizzle a little bit over the um over the pretzel and then i go ahead and sprinkle it with those mini with those mini hearts I loved how all of these treats came out and everything tasted so delicious. I hope that you try them out too. If you do, make sure you share them with me on my Instagram. You can go ahead and follow me. The link is down in my description box below. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.